Way back when, I recorded a Christmas album with my husband. Back in 1997, we recorded an album called The Hallelujah Duet. And this was way before people had home studios. We literally had a Radio Shack mic, and I think I'm trying to think of what software I had. Something very, very big. I think it was maybe Cakewalk before it was Cakewalk Sonar. It was like the really old version of Cakewalk. And I had just learned how to record and how to edit, um, you know, digitally, but I was still totally learning. Anyway, we recorded this album because we were planning to go to England for Christmas because we had saved up all these airline miles and we wanted to fly to England, but it was much cheaper to go during Christmas because the flights were just less and they charged less miles for them. So we had saved up enough miles for us both to go during Christmas. And so we decided, well, since we're gonna be gone during Christmas, this is before we had kids or anything, we would get, create a Christmas present for our family and friends that we could leave behind and that they could enjoy during Christmas since we weren't there. And we kind of been, as soon as we learned like how you could record digitally from home and we kind of played around with recording harmony of our own voices and stuff. My One day my husband was like, wouldn't it be cool to like record all the parts of the Hallelujah duet and like layer it to be like a choir? And we thought that was a really cool idea, but it just kind of sat in the background. And then when we decided to take this trip, we were like, oh my gosh, we could build an entire album around the idea of the Hallelujah chorus sung by two people. So that's where we came up with the Hallelujah duet. And we recorded it in the summer because my husband was in graduate school, I was working, um, and so the summer was really the best time to get all the tracks recorded, especially for him. And him being a baritone, he would have to record all of the bass tracks in the morning because his voice was much lower in the morning. And then he would have to record his tenor tracks at night because his voice was more warmed up and he could hit the higher notes. So he had that, we had really had to have a plan to get this thing done. And I was of course working during the day um, and as, at my accounting job. And so I would have to come home and record my parts after he'd done his parts. And then I was the one that mixed it all together. And so it was quite an experience recording. We ended up recording, I think something like, I have to check maybe 14 tracks. It was a lot. My husband actually enjoyed it so much. He decided to record a few tracks of just male vocals for fun, of songs that he loved. And um, most of them were Christmas songs, but it ended with the Hallelujah Chorus. So we made it kind of um, like a journey from Christmas to Easter but a lot of it is Christmas songs. And the picture on the front is more Christmas based. And so we released this CD um, just to our family and friends. We made it at home. We probably, you know, used the CD stamper to like put the, put the um, label on it and everything. And we made our own cover and we gave it out to family and friends and they loved it. They raved about it. And so then the next year, my mom was like, wow, this is so good. I think I want to pay to have this reproduced. And so she decided to make a thousand copies of it. And we ended up putting it up on the internet and selling copies. We sold copies locally. We got in the newspaper around it. Um, I would sell them at shows. And my mom got them put in local stores up in Modesto where she lived. And all of this came out of just us making a Christmas present for our family. So every year we pull it out and a lot of my family members send me a message on the day after Thanksgiving and they're like, it's finally time to pull out the Hallelujah duet. I brought it out. I started listening to it while I was decorating for Christmas at home. And so it's just something, it's one of those legacy things that we have forever. And we created, you know, it's not amazing quality. It's good but it was recorded with a Radio Shack mic and crude software and people that were just learning how to record, but it is a great memory and something that really, really taught me through experience how to record from home, that's for sure.